Hey, what's going on, everybody? Going right back to positive for refining fire chili. Another super hot. This is an actual cool one. Let's check it out. All right. First off, I'm going to introduce you to the Apocalypse Apocalypse Scorpion. Very cool name. The size of this guy. Bang. Golf ball. Huge. Look at this. This is a Facebook post. All right. Look at it. You can find this in Chili Heads. Look at that bad boy. Different ones. I don't know if you can see them. Very, very cool shapes. I'm really hoping you guys can see these. Actually, that's better. Yeah. Let me start from the beginning. See that? Sweet, right? A lot of cool different shapes. And then I'm going to go back and... and... There's a bunch of them together. Bang! All right. Now... You can see a whole bunch of people writing stuff. Very people, a lot of interest in this pepper. Let me read what he's writing, what he wrote on this. It says, a apocalypse is coming. Are you ready? Be prepared. So far, a few have seen have said more burn than the Reaper, but a nice sweet flavor. Sending out a bunch to get more opinions. See, it's coming soon. About 30 to 40 percent of the peppers have this look, which is like all wicked and cool looking. And uh, typical of scorpions, you get some variation, which is which is, you get a whole bunch of different kind of cool things like you see here. A pop of scorpion created by, created pop of scorpion created scorpion cross about five years ago by expert Italian pepper breeders at AIASP. Are you ready? Well, let's see if I'm ready. AISP. I'm not really sure. What it, what it, what it means, I forgot, but Jim Duffy was talking about that to me the other day when I was talking to him on the phone. It is an Italian organization. Now, there's some secrets about this guy here. How it was made. You want to know him? Sorry, I don't either. There is no, there is not, it's not out. They do not talk about this thing. This, look at it. It's just very, very cool looking pod. And you can see from the picture, there's different ones there. I think I actually... Might even see the one I have. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, very cool. Look at how it has like a cap around that side there. And then it just comes around and very bumpy. bumpy and Anyway, let's cut it open. Let's start munching. Kind of soft-walled. Um, I'm trying to get it. It, 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 it didn't it didn't cut it, it half I, I cut it wrong but you can see oh my goodness look at that oil there's nothing in the way from there I'm sure you guys can see that oil no doubt about it let me hold my hand my hand up steady here wicked I wish I had my big camera for this that's some serious oil man and look at the percent I'm gonna cut it this is something I usually don't do is cut it in three different ways look at that that is sick Look at the placenta and the oil on this bad boy. Look at how much seeds is in there. That's a lot of stinking seeds, man, for a super hop. All right. Man, I'm going to be choking on this bad boy. Um, the smell, smell it. I get a little bit of a, I get the scorpion smell. I also get like a nice sweet smell, and it's like a pushing fruity smell. Very interested. Let's get ready. <coughs> I knew that was coming. Just 
there's actually seeds on here, nobody gets them. Crunch them up. Ooh, more and more. All right. Oil's on the knife. Looks like I just cut an orange. All right, this thing. Describe it firsthand. Very, very smooth. I can honestly see how it could be compared to the Reaper, where <clears throat> when you eat the Reaper, you taste like a nice sweetness and a smooth taste. The burn is coming. Um, as far as fla flavor, right out the bat, I'm going to tell you, it's up there with the Reaper as far as flavor. Better than the Seven Pots, which is usually my, is my second favorite after the Reaper is my favorite pepper, hot pepper in the world, for sure. Um, this thing's lighting my tongue up now. It's starting to really attack my tongue. And, uh, but it's interesting, the story behind it that Jim Duffy was telling me. It was an, an Italian organization. They get together and they, they grow chilies and they grow them and grow them. And uh, from what I understand, Christopher Phillips has kind of has something to do with this organization. And uh, he doesn't even know what's going on with this pepper. Or won't, won't, won't say anything. But either way, it's very silent, which I think is kind of cool. It's a mystery pepper. Apocalypse. Cool name. Okay. Even the aftertaste is kind of nice and smooth. Now, is it as hot as a Reaper? Is it hot as some of these heavyweights? In all honesty, I'm pretty positive. It's because it's still burning. And it's lighting up my throat. It's starting to be hard. To, it's hurt to talk, hurt to breathe. Slob again is kicking in. AC just kicked in. I don't know if that's going to... You would think it would cool me off, but it's actually hurting more because there's more air breathing in it. I got two AC ducts. One there and one there. And they're, they're both right on me and I'm breathing more air in it. And you would think it would feel good, but it hurts when you're talking. Especially when you run your mouth like me. Now, uh... Definitely, I really definitely compare this to the Reaper in a lot of ways. The flavor is very good. The heat is banging. It's cool looking. It's putting on some cool looking peppers. The Reaper has its own distinctive one with the tail. So anyway, forget about the Reaper. Forget about the Seven Pots. The Apocalypse right now, right here. Excellent taste in pepper. Um... You can do anything with this thing. Make sauces. You can cut this thing up and put it in your sandwich. It's going to just give the sandwich a nice taste. It hurts when I'm talking. This thing is, is definitely a very hot, hot pepper. Very hot. And uh, I ate the BBM last night, the Big Black Mama. And comparing the, the heat, it's probably up there, but... That one just has that taste, just like the chocolate marunga, that chocolate, that brown taste that just really just wants to get, you just really want to get out of your mouth. You're like, uh, makes it worse, the experience. But this is actually making the experience better when a, a, a pepper tastes better. And that's what you want. The same thing when you're buying medium hots or, or lighter ones, you want something that tastes good with a little bit of heat. I mean, anything you want to eat, you want something that tastes good, right? Anyway, it has peaked. It's made it a little more comfortable talking, and not really, actually. It's still burning, but uh, it has peaked. I can feel it start to go in my gums now. It's hard to throw that sore throat feeling. But uh, I try to really not talk too much and go too long at videos because I know people just ain't got time to watch people wrap them up video ramble about video especially most of you out there some of you guys are chilly freaks like me you want to hear that all right i feel the burn coming out of my chest it's definitely up there with the best of them good flavor pod 
I really don't know what the crosses are made out of this thing, but it just became up there with, my, with one of my favorite peppers. If there's plants available in, in the spring, I'm on it. I'm definitely going to get this sucker and try it out. I've had success with other scorpions, a butch tea, a moringa, and I don't know what else is crossed with, but that's enough for me to try it. And being as cool as it looks and as hot as it looks and it tastes good, this is the pepper you want. That's all I got to say, man. I got another cool one tomorrow night, and uh, I don't know what else is going to be after that. Later. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Oh, 10 minutes. Let me shut up. See you.